Good evening, friends. Thanks for joining me for story time tonight. Um, so tonight I thought we would talk about the beach and the ocean. Since it's summer, I thought that would be kind of a fun thing to read some stories about and sing some songs about. All right, so let's start with Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. You ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, Climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Very good. Let's do it one more time. Ready? Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Good job. All right, let's see. Let me get my ukulele out. I think tonight we should sing if you're ready for a story. So the first thing we'll do is clap our hands. You ready? If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. something you can wave around in the air you can get that out if you don't have that that's okay too you can just sing the song along with me so I thought since we're talking about the water we could sing row 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 your boat and wave our scarves in the air you ready row 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 your boat gently down the stream merrily 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 life is but a dream very good I'm gonna wave it with the other hand now row 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 your boat gently down the stream Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Good job, friends. All right, I'm going to put my scarf away. And I think we should read our first story. So our first story tonight is called You're a Crab, a Moody Day Book. So this is by Jenny Whitehead, and I'm reading it with permission from Macmillan. You're a Crab. Wee! Some days you can be a friendly dolphin with a squeaky laugh. Some days you can be a funny clownfish that flips and does somersaults. Some days you can be a silly jellyfish that does a wiggle jiggle dance. And some days you can be a crab. Hey, not all crabs are crabby, you know. Yeah, but he sure is. 
when you feel mad like an eel that zaps at whatever it sees. Or mean like a shark that wants to chomp on something squishy. Or frustrated like a turtle that snaps at his lunch but misses. Then you are a crab. A hard-shelled, sand-in-your-claws, crabby crab. Don't worry, sometimes I can be a crabby crab too. But not today. Today, I'm a frog that goes kissy, kissy, kissy. I'm a minnow that wants to tickle your toes. I'm a puffer fish that will hold his breath and make silly faces at you. Yes, today I'm in a good mood. But when you're not, and you want everyone to leave you alone, go ahead and be a stinky anchovy for a while. Or a mopey manatee or a squid with a long face. And when you're hungry, tired, and irritable, and feeling like blowing your top, be a whale. You can eat, yawn, and burp with one big gulp. Burp. Then I bet you'd feel better. But if you don't, how about I'll be a sea lion and you can be a seahorse and we can play ball. Would you like to tap, tap, toss with your tail while I bump, bump, bat with my nose? Or I can be a sawfish and you can be a hammerhead shark and we can build something fun. Would you like to hammer, hammer, hammer while I saw, saw, saw? Or I can be an octopus and you can be a sponge and then I would have eight arms to hug you and squeeze you and hug you and squeeze you and hug you and squeeze you and hug you and squeeze you. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that anyway. But on really tough days when you're not in the mood to play at all, you can be a hermit crab and I can be a hermit crab. By then, I'm sure your mood will change, because moods do that. And soon enough, you will be my happy, funny, silly crab again. So sometimes you might be having a grumpy day and you might feel like that crab. Other days you might feel like the sea lion or one of the other fish that was being silly. It all depends on how you're feeling. But it's important to remember, if you're a crab one day, you don't have to be a crab forever. You can be happy the next day. So that's you're a crab. All right, so I thought we should sing Slippery Fish now. So get your fish ready. You ready? A slippery fish, a slippery fish, sliding in the water. A slippery fish, a slippery fish, glug, glug, glug. Oh no, he was eaten by an octopus, an octopus, squiggling in the water. An octopus, an octopus, glug, glug, glug. Oh no, he was eaten by a tuna fish, a tuna fish, splashing in the water. A tuna fish, a tuna fish, glug, glug, glug. Oh no, he was eaten by a great white shark, a great white shark, lurking in the water. A great white shark, a great white shark, glug, glug, glug. Oh no, he was eaten by humongous whale, humongous whale, spouting in the water. Humongous whale, humongous whale, glug, glug, glug. Burp. Oh no, that whale was like the whale in the book. Good job, friends. All right, let's read another story. This one is called Turtle Tug to the Rescue. This is by Michael Slack, and I'm reading this one with permission from Macmillan. 
turtle tug to the rescue. He cruises the coastline with a keen watchful eye, guarding sea dwellers swimming on by. Serving the sea, tug chugs through the day. Oh, he saved that sea lion from falling over. The skipper with flippers is leading the way. The sun disappears, clouds gather and form. The ocean is brewing a tempestuous storm. Oh no. Breezes become gusts, the surge starts to grow. The surf isn't safe. Go, turtle tug, go! There he goes, he looks really determined. The tide turns treacherous as the rain begins to pour. Puffins are panicking, drifting offshore. Oh no. A seal pup is stuck, tugs there in a flash, dodging sea cliffs as breaking waves crash. Whipping winds howl as tug sails into a gale. Dropping a tow line to an entangled sperm whale. Oh no, that poor whale. Charting his course, Tug turns with a chug. Full steam ahead. Go, Turtle Tug. He weathers rough waves, his bearings are set towing his cargo to a harbored inlet. A squid's in trouble off Tug's starboard side. It latches on tight and hitches a ride. What's that up ahead? Shelter at last. Tug keeps everyone safe till the typhoon has passed. From stem to stern, he's loyal as can be, a special sea vessel, steward of the sea. Turtle Tug. So that's Turtle Tug to the rescue. He saved so many of his friends. Isn't that awesome? He's very brave. All right, let's see. Okay, so I have another song about the ocean or the sea. So it's to the tune of the wheels on the bus. So the first verse goes like this. The waves in the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves in the sea go up and down all day long. Very good. Let's see, how about the shark? The shark goes snap, snap, snap. Ready? The shark in the sea goes snap, 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 snap. Snap, 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 the shark in the sea goes snap, 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 all day long. Very good. And how about the fish? The fish goes swish, swish, swish. Ready? The fish in the sea goes swish, 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 swish. The fish in the sea goes swish, 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 all day long. Very good. Now how about the boats? Kind of like turtle tug, they go toot, toot, toot. Ready? The boats in the sea go toot, toot, toot. Toot, toot, toot. Toot, toot, toot. The boats in the sea go toot, toot, toot. All day long. Very good, friends. All right, let's read another story. This one's called Little Tug. It's kind of like turtle tug. This one's by Stephen Savage, and I am reading this one with permission from Macmillan. Meet Little Tug. He's not the tallest boat in the harbor. He's not the fastest boat in the harbor.
He's not the biggest boat in the harbor. But when the tall ship is still, and the speedboat's motor breaks down, and the big ocean liner can't fit into the harbor, he pulls, he pushes, and guides the boats to safety. happens when little tug tires out? The tall ship tucks him in with his sail. The speedboat hums him a lullaby with her motor. And the great big ocean liner gives little tug a great big hug. So that's Little Tug. So he might be really little, but he has a lot of important things he does. He helps all the other boats get to safety, or if they've stopped working, he helps pull them somewhere so they can get fixed. I think that's a really good book. It doesn't matter how big you are. It just, it's just important that you help your friends out. So that's Little Tug. Okay, let me get my flannel board. I have my little tiny flannel board tonight. And what do I have on it? Fish! How many fish do I have? One, two, three, four, five. And what colors are they? What color is this one? Orange. What color is this one? Blue. How about this one? Red. And this one? yellow, and this one, green. Very good. All right, so if you want to put up your five fingers, those will be your five fish. So ready? We'll start with five. Five little fish swimming by the, by the shore. One got caught, and then there were four. Four little fish swimming in the sea. One got caught, and that left three. Very good. Three little fish swimming in the blue. One got caught and that left two. Two little fish swimming in the sun. One got caught and that left one. One little fish swimming straight for home decided it was best to never roam. So that's our five little fish. Very good job, friends. All right. So I have one more story for you. This one's not really about oceans. I just want to make sure we read another book out of the book we've been reading stories out of since it's a nice bedtime book. This is called Good Night Baby Animals. You've had a busy day. So it's by Karen B. Winnick, illustrated by Laura Watkins. And I'm reading it with permission from Macmillan. Let's see what animal we're going to read about tonight. We're going to read about Tiger Babies. This is called Tiger Babies Romp. When Mama goes out to hunt, Tiger Babies creep away from their den. Tiger noses sniff, Tiger ears twitch twitch, Tiger tail swish swish swish. What's moving? <gasps> A snake. Tiger Babies dash through the tall grass, dash 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 to a tree. Up, 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 tiger babies climb. Tiger noses sniff. Tiger ears twitch, twitch. Tiger tail swish, swish, swish. What's over there? What do they see this time? Tiger babies jump down, down, down. They dash through the tall grass, dash, dash, dash to a lake. Splash, splash, splash. Oh no, a crocodile. Tiger babies run through the tall grass. Run, run, run. 
Mama comes back with meat. Tiger babies eat, eat, eat. Then, tiger babies sleep. Good night, baby tigers. You've had a busy day. So there are baby tigers after a very busy day. They ran into all kinds of things. All right, so I think we have one more story in here maybe that we haven't read, so we might do it next week. All right, so we've come to the end of story time, so it's time to tickle the clouds. Are you ready? Tickle the clouds and tickle your toes. Clap your hands and tickle your nose. Reach down low and reach up high. Story time's over. Say bye bye. Very good. Let's do it one more time. Ready? Tickle the clouds and tickle your toes. Clap your hands and tickle your nose. Reach down low and reach up high. Story time's over. Say bye bye. Very good, friends. Well, thank you so much for joining me tonight for story time. I hope you had a good time. Uh, talking about the beach and the ocean and all the animals that live in it and then ending with a cute story about our baby tigers. Um, I will talk to you guys next week and I hope you have a good rest of the night. Good night friends.